Now in this video I'm going to show you how you enter the questions of your survey. Now first of all when we look at this screen you have this white box here and that is where you enter your questions and the questions they follow a specific code. You have to follow that strictly. Now you can learn more about that by clicking the scripting help tab. If you do that you get information on how to write surveys and I want to show you one specific thing if you for example look at the structure of a questionnaire it shows you what one question is made of uh, every question starts with a label so L colon space and an, a, a word uh, there's a T colon space line that's the type of question there are different types of questions. I'll show you that in a second. You have a line with Q colon, and then the question that the participant sees, and then you have options. For example, in the radio question, where people have to choose one out of multiple options, uh, each option starts with a minus sign. Um, all the question types are here in the uh, online documentation. It's fairly simple. You just can look through it and then you get the point quite quickly. For example, we will use the text line where people can enter some information using their keyboard. Okay, so let's go back to our white box. Now we know, know what to do. So my first question is about age. So the label of that question the identifier, so to speak, is H. And later in the data analysis file, you will find your question back by looking at the identifier. So the type of this question is a text line, and the question that participants see is simply how old are you? And then for each text box that there is, there's a line. Uh, where you can enter some text um, please enter your age here now also for each text box you can have some additional options in this one they are always in curly brackets uh, for example the minimum and the maximum age can be set if you for example study people in working age you might say between 18 and 65 and that finishes your first question now we go to the second question questions are separated from one another by an empty line that's an important thing to know the second question is about gender so the identifier for that question will be gender that's something that I choose so to speak the label is gender the type of the question will be a radio question because I wanted people to choose one out of two options the question will be um, what is your gender and the two options are simply male and female so now we have our demographic demographic questions finished now I'm going to enter the satisfaction with life scale now the good thing is that that is actually already in the survey library so if I go to the main website of site toolkit and I'm going to the library of questionnaires and I go down to the scale for adults um, if I scroll down a little bit I find it here satisfaction with life scale I click that and I can read what it is about and I can copy the code and I'm going to do that now so I'm going to copy this and I'm going back to my main uh, survey and I'm going to paste this now what it has done it has basically entered uh, a couple of items there's a scale item uh, a scale defines the score points of a Likert scale in this case it's an agree scale that goes from 7 to 1 um, there is the actual uh, question with the different things that people have to rate then there is a scoring site toolkit has its own way of scoring within the questionnaire that's quite practical 
later when you analyze your data you just look at this variable and you see what the total score is of this participant and in the survey library uh, there was a feedback item we don't need that we don't even want it for this survey so I'm going to delete that okay so that's finished now I'm going to enter my depression scale and again I'm going to the survey library and to the scales for adults and there is the clinically useful depression outcome scale QDOS. I'm going there I'm going to copy the code and um, I'm going to copy I'm going back to my survey I'm going to paste this and again the last item is a feedback item uh, that was useful in the survey library but not here so I can delete that last bit and now I'm basically finished with my questionnaire so I need to make sure that I save this and all my questions are entered if you want to learn more about what the details mean here you can go to the online documentation the next thing that I do is I compile this survey and it says your survey was compiled successfully what it basically means is that it translates the code here into something that the computer can work with more directly um, whenever you want to uh, run a survey you need to make sure that this has been compiled you only need to compile it once but if you change the code you need to compile it again and that is that so you have now set up your questions and we are ready for testing which I will do in the next video